Hi, Duck Productions again. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to check this your hard drive in Command Prompt, Command Prompt, and by standard um, DUI graphical user interface. The manual way to do it is to go to Start All Programs and type in Command or Command Prompt. When it you finds it, you go to where are you? Open. Now the command you want to type in is chdsk. Check this. Now, first you got, and secondly, you got to figure out what hard drive you're doing to check this too. So in my case, I'm going to test it on the media drive. So I'm going to type in G, and that's it. Then I'm going to type in F for fix and R for repair. Now, there's two different things. That F is going to fix just the basic rudimentary issues. R will try to map and fix broken and uh, bad sectors. R will drastically increase the time that it takes to do this process. It will increase it by an hour to two to three hours, sometimes even four. It depends on your hard drive size. Your hard drive size overall. The bigger the hard drive, the longer it takes. So, just to show you how it works, I'm going to go ahead and enter. Ooh. Ooh. Hi, Dark Productions again, and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to go over and use Check This. Alright, to start it, you're going to want to go to Start, Command Prompt, and Run as Administrator. If you don't have it here, you go to Start Run. Typing it in here will not work. You'd have to elevate it, and it's too complicated for this thing, so I'm just going to simply show you where to go. You just type in simply Command Prompt, and then Run as Administrator. But for me, if I already have it here, I'm just going to run it off of that. You can also find it in the start, all programs, accessories, system tools, and let's see. Oh wait, never mind. It's just under accessories and command prompt. And you can just right click run as administrator. That's in all operating systems. So now I'm going to type in the command check this. C H K D S K. That's all you type in. That's also going to be what you type in in the description below. Then I'm going to check this the media drive. So I'm going to type in G and then two dots on top of each other. Now what I just did was that's a very basic check this. It's not going to fix anything. It's just going to let you know if it's going to find anything wrong. And that's the wrong way to do it. I mean, I already know this hard drive is fine, but if you do know you have problems on it, you type in slash, backslash R, and backslash F, and that's a full fix. That's 100%, if this doesn't fix it, you need to take the hard drive outside and break it with a hammer. Joking, of course. Um, to do a 50% fix, where you don't even touch the corrupted sectors and whatnot, is you just do backslash F. If you want to do a full check this, you add, you space it, and you add backlash R. Both of these commands will be in the description with detailed ex explanations. Um, to do it inside the graphical user interface, you simply right click the hard drive under properties, so it's depending on which one you want to do. You go to tools, you go to error checking, and you, this would be just the F command. This is with the R command. So with R, it scans and attempts to recover bad sectors. Just for the sake of speed, I'm just going to check both of these and let it go through. So now it's checking the hard drive. Now the reason why you do a check this is if you lost power to your computer and it's not booting up correctly or you're missing a file. You can also do this on your startup disk on Windows Vista, Windows 7, and Windows XP and Professional. Every single Windows operating system has a check this functionality. And to do it, 
you do this only when your files are corrupted, when you've lost power to the computer and a power outage, you've turned it off the wrong way by holding the button, um, any number of things. Viruses. Viruses can cause, make it so you have to do a check this, because they, they'll mess up your file integrity. It just depends on the situation, but try to do a check this if you know you've turned off the computer incorrectly a couple of times. It might fix a couple of issues that you think is going to require a reinstall.